Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey all, I hope you all are doing well. If you're interested in seeing updates on my move to London, feel free to check me out on Twitter at DJ's Aviation. The Airbus A380 has certainly had its ups and downs within the aviation industry, from gaining over 100 orders from main customer Emirates to it being a hit with so many travellers that have had the opportunity to fly on it, to the incredible cabin products that we've seen over recent years, and so much more. However, one aspect of the Airbus A380 that has been on the rather negative side is the second-hand market, a market that usually sees other aircraft thrive as they're given another chance at life. With the A380 lacking in 2019 in the second-hand market, and more and more airlines announcing the sale slash removal of their aircraft back to Airbus, is there truly a second-hand market for it. That's what I'm going to explore in today's video. With a few hundred Airbus A380s currently flying today and airlines already looking to remove the type after some 10 years of flying, usually that'd see it go to other airlines. However, so far, that's really been a struggle, with just recently the first two A380s being seen at the scrapyard. While this certainly wasn't unannounced, it still came as a shock to many. We've only so far seen high fly take on the Airbus A380 after it was removed from the Singapore Airlines fleet of aircraft. However, that's been quite literally it. It really hasn't been without heavy rumours of airlines taking on board the Airbus A380. As a second-hand aircraft though, British Airways were the front runners before they decided to order the 777X back in February of this year. This was to add to their A350-1000 and 787s already on order and delivered. While the airline secured the 777X order, the CEO confirmed that they had indeed been offered a second-hand and also new A380 package. This further confirms to us that Airbus was definitely trying to secure either new orders or that all-important second-hand market before they announced the closure of production for the aircraft in 2021. The CEO of British Airways said the following, The proposition that Airbus put forth simply did not even come close to comparison with the Boeing offer, and that was a combination, as rumoured in the press, of new aircraft and used aircraft, etc., these comments are incredibly interesting and something we can definitely dissect and explore in the next part of this video. The A380 has been a huge risk for many carriers and unlike the A320neo or even the Boeing 737, the vast majority of airlines simply cannot operate it. This isn't just because of its insanely high price to purchase, but also because of its large capacity. Being a double-decker, there are plenty of airlines that simply cannot sell out a whole Airbus A380, or even find a route that it'd be suitable on, because they don't have enough traffic on a daily basis on their routes. While British Airways could definitely fill Airbus A380s as they do now, its four engines are now becoming a thing of the past, and airliners like the Boeing 777X, with their efficiency, are becoming the front runners for the future of aviation. So to conclude, is there really a second-hand market for the Airbus A380? Currently, no. We've only seen High Fly acquire the Airbus A380 second-hand, and that's about it. While we're seeing Lufthansa, Air France, Qatar Airways, and potentially even Emirates in the future remove some of their A380s, it's no guarantee that these will head off to other airlines second-hand. They could have the same fate as the Singapore Airlines aircraft and be scrapped. Thank you very much for watching another one of my videos, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh, well,